To make and test out your DIY speakers, you will need different sized containers. So like cups, empty milk cartons, empty soda cartons. Uh, you'll need a cardboard tube. This one comes from a roll of wrapping paper, but obviously stuff like toilet paper, paper towels would work too. Uh, you'll need something to cut with, uh, so scissors uh, or a box cutter. Just be really careful if you're using something like a box cutter or an X-Acto knife. I wish I had an adult to ask that I could have them cut for me, but well, you know, I guess I'm the adult here, right Ruby? Yeah, she's busy looking at something else. Uh, and then also uh, just some extra cardboard just in case. Um, so uh, these are your supplies. Now something fun you can do is decorate. I just used acrylic paint to make some of these speaker elements a little more fun. You could use paint, you can use Sharpies, you can even just cover your uh, speakers in paper and just decorate them with, you know, colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever you've got at home. So after you've made them fun, if you choose to do so, after you choose to decorate, uh, the first step you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut a hole in the top of your cardboard tube. Now this hole is more of a slot and as you can see, it needs to fit your phone or device that you're going to be using to uh, you know, play music or, or play audiobooks or whatever you're doing. So after you do that, your next step is you're going to need to cut holes in the side of your speakers. So you'll want to do it with different shapes. I haven't cut the holes in these yet, but I have done the ones in these. Uh, but use this opportunity, try out different shapes of speakers. So use these soda bottles, use these smaller plastic cups, which makes the best sound, uh, which makes the loudest sound. We'll give it a go. Uh, so once you've cut the holes, and these holes need to fit the cardboard tube, just like that. You can see inside there, they fit the cardboard tube. Uh, you're gonna put it together like this. There we go. We've got our two speakers on either end and the cardboard tube in the middle. And then what you're gonna do is place your device in speaker down right there. And ta-da, there we go. Let's see how it works. What shapes and materials make the best sound? It's up to you to find out.